Okay, so let's get started. We'll do this disassembly work at higher speeds to just save you some boring observation time. And as you can see when we open this up, we have uh, a rat's nest would be a kind way to describe it, of wiring that has been uh, modified and accumulated over the last four years. So we'll try to do a slightly better job on the rebuild. As you can see from some of the wiring, um, I've made good use of DuPont connector wires. They're simple, they interconnect well, and the uh, male end terminals fit well into the screw jacks on the, the main CPU board. Changing over from the screw connectors to JST connectors will be a little more work building cables, but in terms of maintenance and assembly, a lot quicker than dealing with these dozens of very small screw connections. In the bottom center of the screen, you can see the plywood that covers the lithium-ion battery. In building version 1 of this case, we attached the battery manager board with a slightly too long screw that went through the wood and penetrated the battery. The resulting fire was exciting to say the least and not fun at all. We took a lot more care in building version 2. Okay, we take the circuit board out and we'll leave the battery in place under its cover and that should be it for disassembly. One of my friends who's collaborating with me on this video production suggested that perhaps I should waste a little bit more of your time and show you some more of the internal parts we glossed over them quickly when we were ripping them out of the box. Um, first up would be the CPU card itself, um, which according to the notation on here, we that got built in 2016, and it's lasted quite a while, which is good. Um, it's had a, a few issues in terms of, as I mentioned, the wiring coming loose on a couple of these connectors, but um, by and large, it's held up pretty well. Uh, it, screw terminal blocks, the Teensy CPU that's basically attached with headers, and uh, some passive components to uh, give us resistors for the I2C um, circuit and some diodes for battery management and passive capacitors and so forth. The new unit will have a few more and larger capacitors. And that's this circuit card that we showed before, um, which cleans up the real estate a little bit, uh, houses more of the passive circuitry underneath the CPU itself, um, and then uh, has rearranged the external button connections and the on-off switch and the radio and, and power circuitry and so forth. Um, but uh, we'll deal with that later. The display, um, a standard Adafruit 320 by 480 TFT display that we've connected with an SPI circuit and we've bent or used 90 degree pins to allow you to attach a connector with minimal height. The radio, a standard HC12 unit with an external antenna connected in here with a little cable adapter. The mono amplifier for the speaker, again a standard Adafruit part, which I think we're going to change instead of soldering the wires on, we'll use a slide-on DuPont connector that uh, will make it a little easier to replace these. We have had to do that once for a failed amplifier. Uh, and finally, the battery management circuit. This is a Spark Fun battery babysitter. Great unit. I squared C talks to the CPU and tells you about battery life and level of charge and so forth. Um, manages charging. 
and here there was a slide switch that cuts the battery in and out of the circuit, which we removed and uh, added some wires to let me remote the button that turns the battery in and on and off um, out to the outside of the case. But that's it for the base of the case. The top of the case that we showed before, the Adafruit small joystick. And uh, again, pins attached orthogonally, the two buttons, and then over here, the GPS unit attach the top of the case to give the antenna the best connection with some side pointing wires uh, and similarly for the keypad which we hot glued in and that's worked pretty well okay that's it for the uh, look at the parts we've got a bunch of new wiring pieces to make and some things to fabricate that we'll use in the reconstruction I'll skip all the uh, boring details about soldering wires um, and uh, pick this up on the next video where we begin to reassemble the case. Thanks.